Hi, this is Brad with InMotion Hosting, and today I'm going to show you how you can use PHP Mailer to send email from a PHP script. One of the big reasons you'll want to use PHP Mailer is that it gives you quite a bit more control than the standard PHP Mail function. The first thing we're going to need to do is download PHP Mailer. So what I'm going to do is just visit google.com and search for download PHP Mailer. Now you'll uh, you'll want to find the link that says uh, PHP Mailer works where main and for me that's the fourth result and then from this page you'll see a link right at the top that goes to code.google.com go ahead and click that link and then finally on this page click downloads and then download one of these files one is a zip file um, one's a, a gun zip file, so we're going to go ahead and just choose the zip file. So the file isn't really big at all, as you can see it's 236k, so that's done. So what I'm going to do now is upload that zip file to my account. I'm already logged into my cPanel. Uh, the testing domain we're using is InMotionTesting.com. So the first thing I'm going to do is access my file manager. And I've got a subdomain, BradM.InMotionTesting.com, and that's going to be the, the subdomain that I'll be testing with today. So once I'm in my file manager, I'm going to actually create a new folder and call it PHP Mailer Testing. And then once that, once that folder is created, go ahead and uh, access it. Now from this screen, click the Upload button, and then browse your computer and find the PHP Mailer zip file that we just downloaded, and then go ahead and click Open. And that's going to begin the upload process. And as you can see down here, it already says it's, it's completed. So here's the zip file. What we need to do is extract it. So you can right-click and choose Extract. and then now if we refresh you can just click the go button right here you can see we have the zip file and then we have the PHP mailer folder that it extracted now that we have PHP mailer extracted and on our account we're gonna go ahead and look at the uh, readme file and find example source code so go ahead and navigate to the PHP mail folder and there's a readme file so I'm just gonna go ahead and click edit to actually uh, view the contents of that file and what you'll want to do is scroll down the file until you get to the example code so as you can see here it says a simple example so I'm gonna go ahead and s begin at this first line and then copy all of the example code and so I'm gonna create a test file and we're going to call it test1.php and then now go ahead and open that test file and paste in the code so within the PHP mailer example code here we're going to have to specify a couple settings for example we're going to have to specify a email address username and password that the email is going to be sent from and we're also going to have to specify an email address to send the email to. So before we go ahead and, and start editing these settings, we're going to create a few test email accounts. So back in my cPanel, I'm going to click the email accounts icon. And I'm going to create two email addresses. The first one, I'm just going to call it send from PHP Mailer at bradm.inmotiontesting.com. And I'm just for testing purposes, going to set the password to password. And I'm also going to create another email address called receive from PHP Mailer and set that password to password as well, just for testing again. And so basically, what's going to happen is we're going to send an email from the send from PHP Mailer account and it's going to go to the receive from PHP Mailer account but in real life these would be valid email addresses that you have <coughs> 
Okay, so now that the email address is created, we can now go back to the source code here, the example code, and, and begin to edit that. What we're going to do now is modify this example code and show you how easy it is to send from PHP Mailer. Most of the code here is commented, and that's going to help us. For example, if you see this line of code here, it has a comment next to it that says SMTP username. So we know we're going to need to input our SMTP username right here. So the first line says require, and this is where we're going to input the, the path to class.phpmiller.php. And the easiest way to do that is to actually go to your file manager, and find that PHP mailer folder, go into it, and then find class.phpmailer.php and go ahead and just click edit. We're not going to actually edit it, but what we're, we're going to do is once we're in the edit page, up at the top left it shows you the file that you are editing, so we're just going to copy that path and then input it here in the require function. So it's got the full path to class.phpmailer.php. The next thing we're going to input is the host. Now this PHP script and the mail server we're going to use to send the email, they are the exact same server. So because of that, we're going to enter localhost as the server. We now need to specify a SMTP username and password, and that's what we set earlier. So we're going to enter send from php mailer at bradm.inmotiontesting.com and we need to enter in the password for that email account and if you remember the password is simply password the next thing that we need to do is specify the email address that it's being sent from so we're going to go ahead and just copy this email address right here because that's the email account that's sending the email we're going to specify a from name so we'll just put in John Smith and we need to add an email address that's basically who we're gonna send the email to now as you can see it's got two options here one which has an email address and a name but the second one is just the email address without the name so we're gonna go we're gonna go ahead and delete that first one and then we're gonna send this test email to receive from PHP mailer at bradm.inmotiontesting.com. We're not going to specify a reply to address, so we're going to remove that. We're not going to add any attachments. You could, but we're not going to add any attachments in this test, so we're going to remove that. And then finally, you can see where we can specify the subject of the email, the body of the email, and then the alternative body. The body of the email is for email clients that are going to show HTML and the alternative bodies for email clients that do not show HTML. So we're going to go ahead and just leave the defaults in there. And what's going to happen is if the email is sent successfully, we'll see a message that says message has been sent. Otherwise, it'll say message cannot be sent. So we're going to go ahead and save the changes here and I've already have the script open up in a, uh, a new window here. As you can see, it's bradm.inmotiontesting.com slash phpmailertesting slash test1.php. So to run the script, I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page. And as you can see, it says message sent. So the message should have been sent successfully. What we're going to go ahead and do now is check our email account to make sure that we actually did receive that message. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a new tab and go to bradm.inmotiontesting.com slash webmail. And it's going to prompt me for a username and password. And whenever you're logging into webmail, the username is always the email address all lowercase. So if you remember, the email address is received from HP mailer at bradm.inmotiontesting.com. It's quite a mouthful. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and just put password as the password and click OK. And then I like to use Squirrel Mail because it's very basic. So we're, we're going to go ahead and click Squirrel Mail. And I've been running a couple tests, but as you can see here, we did receive the email from John Smith 
it's got the generic here is the subject and then when you click on that it says this is the body and plain text for non-HTML mail clients. So we've successfully at this point set up PHP Mailer to send a test email 